Hey there, and welcome to the Canvas Splice Settings Guide for Palette 2. Palette 2 cuts filaments and connects them together using heat, compression, and cooling. The heat, compression, and cooling may vary depending on which materials you're combining together. Canvas and Palette 2 come with default settings that work for most materials. However, if you need to make adjustments to your splice settings, first, check out the video link in the video's description. That video will show you how to find the best settings for your filament. Then, watch this video. This video shows you how to save and use splice settings in Canvas with custom material profiles. Let's get started with specifying our settings in Canvas. Here we are in Canvas. We have assigned our desired colors and are ready to create custom material profiles using our preferred heat, compression, and cooling settings. To create custom material profiles in Canvas, we simply select any of the color options and click the plus icon below. We are given options to change the material profile name, the diameter, and the type of filament. For this example, we're going to type the brand of filament that we're using as the profile name. In this case, we're going to be using Polyflex. And let's change the material type to TPU. If we wish to change specific print settings for certain materials, we can do that using Style Overrides. When we select Add New Style Override, we are given a drop-down menu with different style overrides that we can use. For this example, we will add a style override for the print temperature and change it to 230 degrees. This style override will only affect this material profile and will override the print temperature in the Settings tab. Once we have completed our new profile, we select Save Material. Now, with the color selected in the toolbox, we see our new material profile that we can select and it also shows how many style overrides are attached to that specific material profile. Now that we have our material profile, we want to adjust the splice settings used by Palette 2 for splicing. We make sure to select our desired profile, in this case the TPU profile we just made, and click Splice Settings just below. We are now taken to the Splice Settings window. These splice settings are used for prints sliced in Canvas. They are not used for palette prints in Random, Gradient, or Multi-Spool mode. If you wish to customize splice settings for prints in Random, Gradient, or Multi-Spool mode, these settings are saved directly to your palette too. You can find a video on creating splice settings for these modes linked in the description. Now, we select our two materials we wish to customize splice settings for. In this case, we are adjusting the splice settings for splicing TPU to TPU. Please note the splice tuning guide linked in the description. This guide has splice suggestions for many different types of filament. These should get you pointed in the right direction for multi-material splicing. For most TPU filaments, we typically use around 2 heat, 4 compression, and 3 cooling. All we do now is click save. If you're going to use soluble support, here is how you would create the splice settings in Canvas. We suggest you run splice tuning on palette to gather the proper values for your specific filament. On our splice tuning guide on our website, for most soluble filaments, we suggest 2 heat, 0 compression, and 2 cooling. Now we click save. Style overrides are settings that are attached only to the material profile they are set for. For example, if we wish to change the print speed on our TPU profile, we simply select maximum print speed override and input our desired speed. We can add as many style overrides as needed, but they will not change the project settings. As seen here, the project temperature is still set to 210 degrees, but when we print with the TPU material profile, it will print at 230 degrees with a maximum print speed of 30 millimeters per second. If we select a different color and choose not to select a profile with style overrides, that filament will print with no style overrides and will print with the project settings. In order to use soluble support, we will make a soluble material profile, then select your part you wish to print in your non-soluble material. Then choose your second filament as your soluble material profile. We then navigate to the settings and open the support section. We choose our support density and that opens up advanced support settings. In these support settings, we can choose which extruder to attach to our support. In this case, we will choose two as we previously set that as our soluble material. Now if we simply click the slice button and slice our models, we will see that the support material is the red color, which is our soluble material profile we selected earlier.
And that's it, you're all set. This video showed you how to input your splice settings with Palette 2 into Canvas. To see a guide on how to tune your splices with Palette 2, click here. To see a playlist that contains other Palette 2 features, click here. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video or connect with us at support at mosaicmfg.com.